Hello friends, my name is Anuradha and in this lecture I'll be taking you through steps to set up Locust on Windows. So stay with me. The first thing which we need to have on, on machine to in order to install Locust is Python. Why? Because Locust is built in Python and it needs Python as a prerequisite, right? So maybe you have already installed uh, Python. Uh, two things we need to check, right? First, uh, if Python is there on my machine, no, it is not there on my machine. This is installable, which I'll let you download. And um, so there is no question of checking Python version on the command prompt. So this is the way we check if Python is there on our machine or not. And if it is there on, if it is accessible through command prompt, right? So first we have to do, we have to download Python. And what I will do, okay, so first I need to know which version of Python I need, right? And so I'll go to this standard documentation of Locust and I'm on installation link where I'm looking for prerequisites for Locust and it says it supports so and so. Locust is supported on these and these is Python versions, right? So 3.7 is there and this is the latest version. So I'll go ahead and download this latest version okay so this version is uh, already downloaded on my machine so let me go to the link yeah so this is the downloaded version Python of Python now what I need to choose here this is the first window and it is very important although it looks like uh, you know uh, it is very familiar window but we need to be little bit focused while doing next okay what we need to focus first thing is we need to add python 3.7 to path what if you don't or what if you forget to uh, check this what will happen so what will happen is something like this python is not recognized as an internal or external command even if you have already installed python why because command prompt and accesses Python from environment variables and it should be available in your environment variables okay over here in Python in path okay and if it is not there then it will show such message of course you need to have Python right so the other thing you, you can uh, of course go ahead and do install now but which I have already done I should not be doing this because I didn't want it to this I'll do cancel I will just go back to the window again okay 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 go back okay done okay so what I have to do okay so I have to do add python 3.7 to path and I'll not choose this okay what I'll do customize installation although I'll be doing my standard installation but this path will give me an opportunity to choose the folder where I want to install Python okay so so I, what I'll do I'll just next do next but just a minute okay we need this pip this is very important you know why yes let's go to installation folder installation link again and you know pip install locust io is the command which you be, should be using once you have python on your machine so you need to have pip and in earlier version pip was not accompanied in python bundle but now we have the opportunity to have pip along with python installation so what is pip actually so pip is the utility which helps you to install and maintain Python packages, okay? And as we know, Locust is a Python package and we can maintain it with the help of pip, okay? So let's move further. Next, all right, so why did we choose customize installation? Because we wanted to have our own folder, okay? So I'll choose this folder and I'll go ahead and click on install. All right, so here you go. 
and uh, what else we need to check we'll see so what does this add to path is doing we need to have that information also right all right so installation is complete and uh, what next we need to do immediately can you tell me yes of course we need to check whether python is successfully installed that's wrong spelling okay so it says python is installed okay python is there and how can we check further here yeah, we can uh, uh, we can just on python interpreter we can type anything and yeah of course my python is working but is it available in environment variables let me give a check to that okay so here you have to go on path edit and you see there's two things where python is installed and this is scripts folder should be in path you want to check what this thing contains okay what this scripts folder contain Okay, so this is whole Python installation over here and why we have added for the sake of getting pip if we won't add still scripts in our path variable we will not be able to get pip okay so let's proceed further and let's open a command prompt okay and check for Python version here and it says 3.7.4 okay all good all well now we are here to proceed with installation of locust and as the command said pip install locust io should be yes oh what's this unknown or unsupported command we just saw and we just had pip in our environment variable and in you know scripts folder why why this is throwing such an error uh, let me see where else I have this pip utility where is pip okay okay so it says strawberry pearl also has pip dot bat and python script pip dot exe so um, yeah a few days back I had installed one web tour applications uh, from load runner and there you I had a straw the strawberry and it also accompanied pip dot bat so it is here and when I'm giving pip first thing it is looking for pip dot bat rather than exe so you might not face this issue if you don't have this strawberry pearl pip dot bat on your machine but in case if you have pip dot bat you can face the issue which I just faced which is like this okay so what what we have to do we have to directly tell this guy we need pip.exe and here you go let's see if our locust get installed or not Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> oh now what next what is this seems um oh it is using something cache thing and all so it says locust is installed but you may get something uh, big on your terminal okay don't worry so let's just check if locust is installed okay so my locust is installed now the other problem which you might face is that I didn't open this command prompt while installing locust in admin um, with admin privileges. So preferably you should be opening command prompt with admin privileges and running this command pip install. Of course pip.exe if you have one more pip you should be installing this. Okay so this will make you run locust all right all good so it says my locust is installed but one thing which I need to do is 
I need to check if Locust is running or not. Is it is, is installed correctly, right? So I have to verify it. To verify it, we don't need to know Locust script in detail. All you need to do is go to this quick start on Locust IO documentation, standard documentation, and just copy this Locust file .py. So here we are not diving into details about this script what this script has and how does locust work all we are doing all we are doing is we are verifying if locust is working or not and we'll open this in notepad and we'll just paste this and we'll just copy um this with some name maybe on our c drive um let me make a folder locust test okay and i'll just save this file as locust what did it set what the name it said let's just copy that name yeah locust file dot py okay locust file dot py and let me just choose this all files and here you go so i have this locust file dot py on my C drive. So let me go to there and let me just list it. Oh, it's in CD Locust Hell Locust Test. Okay. And uh, so here you have locust file.py. So I'm in the folder where I have saved my file with the name locust file.py and I have copied this file without giving a single thought what is there in this file just to check if my locust is working fine or not all right so i'll just uh, i'll just go and run this script so all you have to run while you are in this folder where your script is residing is you have to give just command locust that's it see it's running and what does this information say starting web monitor at 80 89 and starting locust 0.11.0 so what we have got we have installed locust 0.110 and when we run locust script it starts a web monitor at 80 89 port and remember we have not started our test yet it's just web monitor which has started at 80 89 okay so let's go to local host 80 89 and of, of course all is good so here we have web monitor running now what we have to do next so that's our locus is installed correctly one thing for sure the other thing we might go ahead and but that may be more of script problem but let's just check we have to give something to start the test number of users and hatch rate and let's not think about this again what is this just give this okay so your test starts running okay on the basis of what is there in the script so all is good all is well and you are ready with the locust steps to install locust on windows are also available on our blog qamilestone.com all you have to do is to visit qamilestone.com and search this keyword and you will be there on the post here you go so we have information about setting up locust on windows and we do have more information for which I will be making another video so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel.